Paul, after the chaos with the trains on Friday evening, I know uh, as of Monday morning you hadn't heard anything from, from Southern, but has there been any response at this stage? Our transport manager received an email last night from uh, a senior manager at Southern to say that they were having internal meetings to discuss what went wrong on Friday. Uh, they were involving a lot of their very senior people in those discussions and that, that we could expect to hear something from them in the next 24, 48 hours. So I'm looking forward to that explanation. Um, it was chaos. It was totally unacceptable um, and frankly just not good enough. How, how frustrating was Friday night for the, for the well, club. it was incredibly frustrating for the club, but even more frustrating for the fans. You know, 30,000 people had given up their time on a Friday night with a game live on TV in terrible weather to get to the Amex and enjoy the game, spend some time with family and friends, and then found afterwards that they couldn't get home. Um, and that's just unforgivable on the part of Southern. And we were incredibly frustrated because it left us no time to make any contingency plans whatsoever. Is there, is there a fear that this is? now really starting to impact Gates here, particularly with those evening games? Well, I think it's, it's affecting people's attitudes um, more than Gates at the moment. People are beginning to wonder whether it's reasonable for them to expect to get to and from the game by train. And when you consider that our stadium was built on the condition of having a sustainable transport plan, which meant the public, the fans were asked to use trains and buses rather than cars, it seems incredibly unfair uh, that here we are five, six years later now effectively being punished for putting in place one of the best transport plans in the country and that the fans are suffering because of that. Most fans were very patient on Friday night, I think, I think that's fair to say in, in testing circumstances but I understand there, it, it was a quite a difficult evening for the club stewards down on the, on the platform and yeah, I mean around the, the stadium. The vast majority of fans you know, conducted themselves fantastically well and, and were incredibly patient in what were difficult circumstances both before the game to some degree and particularly after the game but unfortunately one or two did take their frustrations out on our staff on our stewards which is incredibly unfair because those guys were doing the best they could to give people the information they had and let's face it they had very little in, in most cases no information um, and they were doing their best also to work with our operations staff to find extra buses to try and get some of those people home. So I think in those situations, you know, we would ask that very, very small minority of fans that took their frustrations out on our staff to just think carefully about doing that and, and just have a little bit more uh, forgiveness for the people that are actually trying to help them rather than attack them verbally. Uh, that's not fair and, and it's not something that uh, we want to see. I guess in a way you can understand where that frustration of comes course. from. Of course, and, and you know, when people, particularly people with children, are trying to get home after a, an evening game, we can totally understand why people will become frustrated, but they're taking that frustration out on the wrong people. Um, and you know, even Southern staff that are on the platform, it's not their fault that the trains are not coming. Um, you know, we, we want people to be patient. Let us take out our frustrations on the people responsible for that service on Friday night, or the lack of service, and also the politicians now who have got to do more to bring this matter to a head. Seagulls player, HD.